Today is January 6th, the feast day of the Epiphany. Did you know that the Feast of Epiphany traditionally involved a blessing of homes? Members of a congregation, their priests, deacons, and sisters would go out into the community and bless the houses that they passed. This is based on the scripture from Matthew 2, which tells us that the Magi who visited Jesus visited him at a house. They didn't meet him at the same time as the shepherds who were at the manger the way we usually portray their story in our nativity scenes and Christmas cards. So today I offer you a blessing on all your homes, and I bless them with the symbolic play of light and darkness that comes to us in the season of Epiphany. So let us pray. O God of all light and darkness, of epiphanies and visitations, you come to us in this season revealing yourself to us in the stories of Jesus. Jesus in houses and on beaches. Jesus arguing and healing. Jesus with family and friends, with followers and disciples. Bless us with the light of understanding, we pray. And be with us in the darkness while we rest and recover. O oh God of all light and darkness, you come to us in our homes. Bless the houses, apartments, rooms, and corners where we dwell. Bless the dwelling places of all your living creatures, from endangered habitats to urban shelters. Give us a light of understanding, we pray. And be with us in the darkness while we rest and recover. O oh God of all light and darkness, you are as refreshing as the waters of our baptism. You nourish us in body and spirit when we gather at your table. Gather us once again in our church family, we pray, whether we are sharing space or reaching out through technology. Help us to feel at home with you, dwelling in your spirit's power wherever we may be. Give us a light of understanding, we pray. And be with us in the darkness that we may rest and recover. We offer our prayers in the name of the growing Christ. May we see him from that baby in the manger through his growing years, to his public ministry, his death, and his rising in new life. May the light and the darkness of his story bless our stories and give us hope. Amen. So a blessing on you and your home, wherever you may be today. Amen.